first period action here at Menon Arena in the Public A quarterfinals. An 11 seed at Sparta Jefferson fires off a couple of shots, but Randolph goalie Luke Swedland makes the saves for the number three Rams, and we have no score. Sparta Jefferson is then on the power play, and he gets a shot here from the point, but once again, it's Luke Swedland with the save for the Rams. Sparta Jefferson is awarded another power play, and it's Brendan Erickson with the shot, and once again, Luke Swedland is there for the save, and we still have no score here in the first period. Now watch Nick Savetta Randolph with the shot, and Logan Hannock makes the save before Jack Zimmer sticks in the rebound, and Randolph has a 1-0 lead with 6.21 to go in the first period. And it stays 1-0 after one period. Watch C.J. Morello with the shot, but Logan Hannock makes the save for Sparta Jefferson, and Randolph has the lead despite being outshot 12-5. Second period action and Sparta Jefferson gets a big check here before Nick King fires off the shot. They watch Luke Swedlin with the initial stop and then he covers up. Great save there, so close for Sparta Jefferson. Now watch Sparta Jefferson get caught on the line switch and it's Swedlin with a heads up pass to Will Zimmer and he scores and Randolph has a 2-0 lead after two periods of play despite being outshot 18-6. They move to third period action and Randolph keeps it in the Sparta zone and watch Will Zimmer get it to JT Zangara with a power play goal and it's 3-0 Randolph with 7.07 to go in the period. Luke Swedland continues his big game here with another stave here to stymie Sparta Jefferson and it stays 3-0 Randolph. Sparta Jefferson's on another power play and they send in the rocket from the point but once again Luke Swedland answers the call for the Rams. And Swedland preserves the shutout victory here with two more saves as he finished with 28 on the game to lift Randolph to the 3-0 victory as it faced Ridged in the semifinals as Sparta Jefferson's first year as a co-op comes to an end with a 15-6-3 record. We certainly put a lot of pressure on him, but that's a seasoned state champion team, and when you give them a chance, they score. So. For all the effort we put into it, I'm very satisfied, yes. Yeah, that second goal was really a bummer. You know, it was kind of a breakdown on a line change. Their goalie actually got the assist. Talk about how you could work on that. Uh, well, it's just a smarter change. I don't know, you know, when you dump the puck in on goal, a goalie like that will just shoot it straight out to his open man, which is exactly what he did. Now, talk up. Like I said, you outplayed them tonight. You held them to only 15 shots. I think only one shot in the second period. Talk about how you were able to do that. Just a lot of pressure, constant pressure, good back checking, clearing the zone quickly. But um, yeah, it was surprising. <laughs> Unfortunately, that one shot went in. And talk up your goalie's effort. You know, we said three went in, but he's only a freshman, and this is great experience for him for the future. Yeah, absolutely. The kid's been fantastic for us all year. Uh, I can't give him enough credit for the way he's played as a freshman, so we're certainly looking forward to him next year. And just culminate your season, first time as a co-op, you guys did pretty well. You made it further than you ever have before. That's true. Uh, we had a lot of talent. They worked together. Everybody worked hard. We're looking forward to next year, and uh, we, we have a lot of players to replace. we got a lot of seniors.